Is it crap? Let's find out. Uh, my camera's batteries are always dying because it shoots in that premium quality 4K. It's eating up batteries like no tomorrow. No matter how many I have, it still eats them like it's lunchtime. Even could we maybe combine some things together? Oh, yarn it. Where'd it go? <laughs> Is it crap? We take tech things and we save the crap. What's up? This is the uh, e-charge wallet. So um, I always have a wallet. There's never a time that I don't have a wallet. It's really thin. And you know, since I don't like to do the old Texas sit here, but this thing's pretty, pretty big, but it's going to give me charge whenever I need it. So technically I'll never have to bring a battery pack with me, but technically you're always going to need a wallet. And if the charge is already in it, why not? I don't know if it's going to be any good. My grandpa loves Bell and Howell. He's always talking, oh, oh, Bell and Howell, that's a good name. My method here is to find the spot where it hangs on the hook here. And then you just get in there and you go like this. Bam, you just ripped off the back. That's it. And now you can gain access over there. Okay. Well, here's uh, instructions. So I'm pretty sure I can handle it. Uh, well, you've got a little charging cable here. It's the micro USB, and you've got the... Okay, well, you're going to want to make sure it's sturdy anyway, because, you know, I'm sure you're going to be taking a couple of tumbles. Seems pretty sturdy enough. I mean, it's matty, matty colored, not matte. Is matte the right? No, gloss colored, so it's going to collect some fingerprints. But, you know, I'm not advertising for Bell and Howell, so... That, that, that doesn't work. Got a little clip there so you can unrelease it to the accordion folds in here. Seems to be really cheap esque plastic. This flap already came undone. This is where you plug in and charge your things and uh, charge you back up. Light indicates how much charge you got, which is none because I haven't done anything with it. Oh, yeah, that looks good. Yep, I'm proud of that decision. I think I am Casey Neistat. Let's see how much stuff I can fit in here. I don't want to show you these. One, two, three. I got ten cards here. Just flop those in there. Always good to have a little bit of cash. Exposure alert. Oh, can't. Maybe it is crap. I don't know. I never said this was going to be a positive review. I can't fit that many cards in there. Not looking very useful. Got a challenge. Holds all my cards in cash. Proved you wrong, Bell and Howl. I'm about to Bell and Scowl at that. <laughs> Whoa, magic! Whoa. <laughs> six is the limit. No more than six cards. I do have to get rid of a lot of cards for to make it work. It works. I, I had to only use four cards. I really want to put a cable in there though because you can't. That's my problem. You know, I either have the cable and I don't have the charger, or I have the charger and I don't have the cable. Why aren't you closing it? What if somebody steals your identity? Okay? So the other day, I was watching this uh, documentary about uh, hackers. High-tech crooks have now cooked up a new way to rip you off. Mr. Robot in real life. In less than five seconds without you ever knowing it happened, you could become the victim of an electronic pickpocketer. Oh my gosh. With this guy, it's got RFID protection. So if he tries to wave his little wand, this is like putting all your stuff inside a aluminum bag. Once you put something around an aluminum foil, nothing can get to it. Try and make a phone, try and wrap your phone in aluminum foil and make a phone call. Impossible. If you can do it, I'll give you a million dollars. See if it'll charge something. Little bouncing dots there. Four to six hours on here. Compared to the fast charging stuff we have nowadays. It's quite a lot. And you can't overcharge it for more than that. Or else, uh, well, they probably use the cheap quality ones that'll explode. Probably sourced from Samsung or something. So set your timers, everyone. That's all we need, really. Something else to stress about in this world. Maybe I could do it better. I don't know. Maybe I could just tape a wallet to this battery pack and say, that's it. I think this right here is the prime example. Thin isn't always better. Okay, you're plugged into the uh, to the mainframe here. I don't know if it'll have enough power to sustain, but 
We've got you. I don't know if you can see, but you're you're plugged in. Can you see that? I've got a nice long wire so I could actually stick this thing in my pocket and continue to vlog like nothing ever happened. But I'm really impressed with... Uh, nope. Uh, oh, that's not how it works. <laughs> All right, so... The camera's cold, so that means I got a full charge, and I still got about a half. It just turned to a quarter right now, but about a half. So I can get two charges out of this pack, which is nice. Need be. I mean, I, I know a lot of people use this for a phone. So uh, I'll get what whatever this milliamp hour is, I'll times it by two, and that'll be the uh, capacity, or at least theory of capacity. So then you can take that number and apply it to whatever phone you want. It's saying, theoretically, one charge of a phone. But what phone? You know, there's a lot of different sizes of phones. Seems like a pretty pretty solid uh, cell. 20 bucks ain't too bad. Capacity's a bit small. Plastic's a bit cheap. It's already scratching up a lot. And I did nothing to this thing. At least to the back. But it is scratched up to high heavens. You can see. Works as a... A makeshift uh, mirror if you're a woman, you know. RFID protection in there. But, uh, I mean, it's pretty scratched. But, you know. Can't even tell it used to have a logo on there. Don't promote if you're already getting... If you're not getting paid, why promote something, you know? It's been about a week now, and I'm happy to say that it's doing its job. It's holding charge. It's doing everything. It's large and in charge. I like my little design here, although it is scratching quite a quite a lot there i don't know if you could see it in the reflection but i you know it's not like i live in a house of nails or anything so if that's something you really want to worry about you like it for aesthetics it's uh it's pretty bad but uh I, I don't mind i did have to slim down my card stack like i said before but you know some things present themselves as negatives but then you you, you get a lesson out of them at the end you know and I, I, you know, as much of a minimalist as I call myself, I was hoarding a bunch of credit cards that I didn't use. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see another tech video, wow! If you'd like to subscribe, wow! And I'll see you later. Peace in the streets.